In today's video, we're going to be talking about coin roll hunting, searching for silver in rolls of coins, and where I personally believe you'd be most likely to find the most success. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. More specifically, searching for 90% silver by coin roll hunting hunting. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. As I'm filming the video, I don't know the order that these videos are going to come out. I'm going to be filming three videos today, actually four videos today, one for Thursday, one for Friday, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. I don't know the order, but I'm filming it on Thursday. And I'm not even going to talk about spot price for that reason right there because I have no idea what spot price is going to be by the time the video comes out. But if you'd like to let me know what the spot price is for you as you're viewing the video, head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the spot price is. I'm always curious. But today I wanted to talk about coin roll hunting. And believe it or not, this entire video was inspired by a small section of my most recent VIP club live stream i go live every wednesday night link in the description if you're interested in joining it's not just live streams it's also monthly giveaways daily silver and gold deal alerts and a whole bunch of other stuff but there was a small portion of the live stream which by the way was over two hours long that had to do with coin roll hunting now it's not something that i have ever personally done before it's something that i would like to do and what i'm going to do here in this video is include just a couple minutes worth of that live stream i clipped it i'm going to include it right here and after the clip i'm going to come back and talk more about coin roll hunting here we go half dollars right you're probably going to stand the best chance finding 90 or 40 percent silver when coin roll hunting with half dollars i have not had any success finding any junk silver by going through quarters and dimes. Now, of course, I find some quote-unquote junk copper pennies, but that's a different story. Talking about silver, though, haven't found any silver in quarters or dimes. I have found plenty of silver in half dollars, though. And I haven't even done any official coin roll hunting. I haven't done that. I would like to. I just have a pretty hectic schedule. I can't really figure out the time to sit down and, and go through a bunch of coins like that. But I have gone through jars of change. I have gone through bags of coins that I found while cleaning out family members' houses or emptying out or moving other people's stuff from out of their house. I've been told on more than one occasion that everything that they're keeping has already been moved. They just need me to just remove and get rid of everything that's left over. And they said, if you find anything that you like, anything that you want to keep, you can have it. Don't worry about it. And I have found my fair share of 90% and mostly 40% silver half dollars. Again, I have had a success rate of 0% going through silver quarters. I think I did find one silver dime one time, but that barely even counts if you think about how many silver dimes I've gone through over the last three and a half years. If I found one in three and a half years, that barely counts. It counts, but not very much. Quarters, zero. Half dollars? I've had quite a bit of luck. So if I had to go ahead and assume, if you're going to do a little bit of coin roll hunting, you probably stand the best chance going through half dollars. 
Now what's funny about half dollars is I don't think I've ever heard anybody go through rolls of half dollars and just stumble upon any walking liberties or Franklin halves. But you may stumble upon some 40% and 90% Kennedy halves. Those are the only ones that I have found. With everything that I just said, going through change jars or old coins that are from bags or coins that were left around in little tubes or drawers or whatever in houses that I was clearing out. Every single 40% or 90% half dollar that I have ever stumbled upon have been Kennedy halves. Great coins, by the way. Silver is silver. No complaints. Roll hunting is always below a spot. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And one could actually say, like, for example, if you find yourself a silver half dollar, one could argue that it only cost you 50 cents. I would say it didn't cost you 50 cents. It actually earned you about, what, eight or nine dollars, maybe? No, actually, forget that. It earned you a third of an ounce of silver, approximately. Forget the dollar amount. But yeah, it's interesting to look at it from both perspectives. Because I always thought that it was free. Technically, it's not, because you trade your dollars for the coins. It's a mere conversion, so that's not a purchase. That's not something that you're paying for. You're trading one paper dollar for 100 pennies. That's not even a transaction. That's just a, a switcheroo. And the same could be said about quarters, dimes, half dollars, even nickels. So in my head, it was always free. But then a couple people pointed out that, well, it's not really free. Because if you do find a coin, all it costs you is whatever the face value is, which is a really good deal, by the way. Like imagine finding a silver eagle or imagine the bank giving you a silver eagle in exchange for a one piece of paper dollar. Silver eagle, one dollar face value. According to face value, it's only worth a dollar. So it wasn't free, it cost you a dollar, if you want to look at it that way. I, however, thought of it a little bit differently. I considered it free. Until so people pointed that out which I thought that was a pretty interesting point of view. Because if you were to go to a coin shop and pick up, let's just say, forget the Silver Eagle, pick up just one simple little quarter or one simple little half dollar or one simple little dime, it's going to cost you a couple bucks. I mean, the half dollar is worth about 8 to $9 right now. So imagine finding one and only being charged 50 cents. It's pretty cool. But then if you think about it even more, it didn't cost you 50 cents. It earned you something. You traded 50 cents for it, and in return, you were given a third of an ounce of silver worth about eight or nine dollars. Once again, it's just a different point of view, just a change of perspective. So that was about a five minute clip from a live stream that was over two hours long. Once again, I go live every Wednesday night. I do giveaways every month. I do silver and gold deal alerts every single day. I also do discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, exclusive adventure vlogs, early access to all of my videos, and so much more. Link in the description if you wanna join the Precious Metals VIP club. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about coin roll hunting because it's actually pretty interesting. And like I said, it's not something that I have ever done myself. I've always wanted to. I just don't really have the time to do it. But I would imagine it's probably pretty relaxing. Some people might be 
wondering, oh my God, I gotta go through each individual coin from each individual roll of coins, how in the world is that even possible? Well, I would imagine if you have the time to do it, it's probably pretty relaxing. And if you were to somehow, some way stumble upon a little piece of silver in there, you're gonna feel like the king of the world. So it seems pretty cool. It's something that I've been wanting to do for about three and a half years now. I just, unfortunately, don't have the time to do it. But for those of you who do not know how to go about it, all you have to do is take a little bit of cash to the bank and trade the cash for the same amount of cash, but in the form of coins. For example, if you take a $5 bill to the bank and say, hey, can I get a $5 roll of dimes? That's all you have to do. And then you can go through each individual dime in the roll of dimes. But you can 10x that by giving them a $50 bill. You can even give them $500. Get a whole bunch of dimes to go through, which would obviously increase the likelihood of stumbling upon a silver dime. Now, are there a great deal of silver dimes and silver quarters and silver half dollars in circulation? Unfortunately, no, but there are a few scattered around. There are a few people find them every day. Not a lot of them, but sometimes people get lucky and they stumble upon some silver in their currency. They find a little bit of money in their fiat, which I would imagine is an incredible feeling. And like I shared in the clip, I have found some money, not while coin roll hunting, but just by going through pocket change or, or jars of spare change or whatever, I have found my fair share of 90% 40% half dollars. And I did find one silver dime one time, never found a silver quarter, but who knows, maybe I will one day. And then when it comes to copper pennies, by the way, Again, story for another day, but they're far more common. I actually have found that I have about a 20 to 25% success rate. If I go through 100 pennies, there's a good chance that about 20 to maybe 25% of them will actually be copper pennies, which is pretty cool. Well, let's focus on silver. I want you guys to actually head on down to the comments and let me know. Do you coin roll hunt? Do you take some cash to the bank and ask for rolls of coins? Some people even go through nickels looking for some war nickels. That's an idea. I'm personally not overly concerned with war nickels, but it would be pretty nice to find some more silver half dollars, maybe another silver dime. Who knows? Maybe I can even find my first silver quarter one day. I would like to begin coin roll hunting, I might actually have to take a decent amount of cash to the bank and just get my fair share of rolls of coins. And maybe I can do that from time to time during VIP club streams. I'll just grab one or two or three or four rolls of coins and go through them live. Might be pretty fun. Is there a strong possibility that I'll actually find silver? Probably not. But if I do, that would make for an awesome stream. Now, something else we talked about during the Wednesday night live stream was getting the coins from one bank, but bringing the coins when you're done going through them to another bank. Number one, so they don't really catch on to you. Not that it's too big of a deal, but still, you probably want to be private and discreet about it. And two, arguably more importantly, you don't want to be that pain in the neck customer to walk in asking for nice organized rolls of coins and then you bring all of those coins back not in rolls i guess you could put them back in rolls but either way just something to think about i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and if you do any coin roll hunting searching for some precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, 
discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on coin roll hunting? Do you take some cash, some currency, some fiat to the bank and request trading that cash, that paper, for some coins, some rolls of coins? Then you take those rolls of coins home, you go through each individual coin hunting for some silver. Is it something you've ever done before? Is it something that you've never done and don't plan on doing? Maybe to you it seems boring. Maybe to you it seems like it's not worth your time. Maybe to you it seems like an exciting or a relaxing thing to do. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.